Hello and welcome to Bread of Life, a daily devotional program which each week features a different area pastor. Our speaker for this week is Pastor Robert Young of Windsor. God bless you, my friends. We are continuing to study lessons from 1st and 2nd Peter. Our lesson today is in 2nd Peter chapter 3, verse 18. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 1st Peter chapter 2, verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word, that you may grow thereby. Are we growing in Christ Jesus? Are we making spiritual progress, becoming more and more like Jesus every day? Are we making strides in spiritual maturity? Are we increasingly becoming more sanctified? Growth in the Lord is the passion of the born-again child of God. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, it speaks of, it tells us that God has provided for his children everything that we need to live a holy, sanctified life in this present world. The love of God who chose us to be his beloved children. The Holy Spirit who sets us apart unto God and enables us to be obedient to God's will and the blood of Jesus Christ that washes us and delivers us from our sins, we are enabled by God to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We find in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5-7, through 7, list of graces or qualities, areas of growth that the saints are to cultivate. And beside this, giving all diligence, in other words, put forth the effort, earnestly work at this, get in a hurry, be zealous to add to your faith. Since we've been saved, strive to add these graces in your Christian walk. Virtue, knowledge, temperance. We looked at these in a previous lesson. Let's look at the other Four graces listed in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 through 7. And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith patience, that is, steadfastness and endurance in Christ Jesus, as one experiences trials, setbacks, losses, and disappointments in life, knowing that God allows trials in our lives to teach us patience. If we sincerely love the Lord, the trials will work for our good. Thank God. We find that in Romans chapter 8, in verse 28. All things will work together for our good if we sincerely love the Lord. 1 Peter chapter 4 and 13 says, Rejoice as you share in Christ's suffering. Beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith godliness, godlikeness, living close to the Lord daily, surrendering our wills to God every day, saying, yes, Lord, in our hearts and conduct, pleasing the Lord, showing him reverence, and loving our neighbors as ourselves. By faith, Enoch, the Old Testament patriarch, never experienced death as he had this testimony that he pleased God. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5. Add to your faith brotherly kindness, unfeigned, pure, fervent love from the heart for other brothers and sisters in Christ. Warm, heartfelt, kinship love for the saints, the household of faith, showing them special kindnesses according to Galatians chapter 6 and verse 10. First Peter chapter 3 and 8 says, Love 
love as brethren. Greet one another with a kiss of charity. 1 Peter chapter 5, 14. Besides all this, giving all diligence, add to your faith charity, that is, love, selfless love for others, exercising our minds and wills to act in a loving, kind, and caring manner to those who are deemed unworthy of our genuine love, loving our enemies and ungodly persons. Jesus committed his love to sinners, to us, and that he died to save us, according to Romans chapter 5, verse 8. We are redeemed by the precious blood of Christ. Lord, please help us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of you. Amen. You've been listening to Pastor Robert Young of Windsor. And this has been Bread of Life, a program to encourage you from God's Word.